Alright family, I kind of lost you there. Um, I'm about to show you what I'm doing, which is a nice big skillet, the olive oil, of course the potatoes, got the pan on already, but I've got it on kind of low because I don't want olive oil to scorch. So. Alright, the pan is on. I'm about to pour some olive oil in here to get it kind of moving around a bit with some heat. So we just want to coat the bottom so that no matter how you turn them taters, they got oil on them. That's about a half a cup of oil liquefied and then you just put it on like a five these are my ingredients pepper and salt regular iodized I might shake a little this or either some fajita but I'm not trying to really, I might even do some Lowry's, because like I said, it's old-fashioned Southern. So we might do a little Lowry's. I'm going to scramble up some eggs in this bowl. And slice the scrabble about mm, half inch. And brown it nice, cook it, toast it, and it's going to be a good meal. I'll throw the cheese in with my eggs, and it's going to be alright. Okay, family. Got my little eggs together, and I'm going to take a few of these onions and throw them in there. You know, because you always have a little something up in there. Give me back my eggs. Alright. And a little salt and pepper. Shake the Lowry's. We're going to be alright. And we're going to cook this in a low cholesterol margarine because eggs have cholesterol in them. And I would rather use either olive oil or margarine with zero cholesterol. Whip these up right quick. I usually use two uh, chopsticks. You know, you always have something left over from the Chinese restaurant when you used to get that beef and vegetable vodka, and uh, I keep the chopsticks. For mixing stuff. I'm gonna get my copper top pan, which is over here. Non-stick, of course. And I'm gonna use this jet. And I'm gonna put this on seven this time. Turn off this one until these potatoes become righteous. In here will go the scrabble. I need to sear it and I don't want it sticking. Alright. <laughs> this is scrabble. I will be coursing that deep to make four portions. Sliced all the way down, they'll be going in that pan right there. And then when all of this is done, my eggs. So, you know how to cook eggs without burning them, I sincerely hope. Because most of these recipes are what Mama used to make. And so we kept Dad at home. Spending money out in the streets, don't save no money in his pocket, and it don't make Big Papa happy. So, cook, girls, cook. Cook, 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 cook. When you get depressed, cook. You ain't got to eat it. 
Just watch his face. Yeah, just watch his face. And upon completion, I will be showing you the whole meal. Now this is what the scrabble looks like when it's getting brown and nice. And over here, I've covered my taters. Just give them a cook through because they're thinly sliced. You don't want them to be raw. So I set that there and I'm going to continue on. Shalom. Alright, family. I've been turning and browning and browning and turning. It's almost time for the eggs. You can see the onions and the potatoes are now just coming to a nice golden brown. I try to keep the oil from the olive to where it's running down here. And I am stuck in the veggies. Get up there and fry them in. I'm going to leave this on for another five minutes and then I'm going to turn this boogity woogity off. These are coming out just fine. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You like a little crust on here. We're gonna leave it like that. All right, and now it's time for the eggs. See that? We're making muy bella huevos. Hold on, family. Yeah, I had to uh, get the last out of that bowl because my mama told me, you don't waste no food. Black people ain't got no business wasting no food. It is so hard to keep a belly full if you have a family and you black and you got to pay bills and you got to pay insurance and you got no assets. It's just bullshit. So, you save a dollar wherever you can. Me, I'm not a domesticated person. I'm just saying I can get out there and drop houses like the rest of them. But right now, I'm 62. Only houses I want to drop are my own or what I got to pass down on to my grandchildren and my children. They deserve it. Because they work so hard on their education and their job and their children. Now, I don't want to hear shit else about it. But anyway, as you can see, I have folded these boogers into perfection. Now I'm going to turn this booger off. I had it on high because I knew I would be turning that shit. Shalom, family. Hold on, I'm going to have it on a plate soon. One thing, baby, I can't forget. The kind of life that I live. Boom, 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 boom. Thumbs up, thumbs up. That. Right there, right there. That's a meal. You don't want that shit out the store.